Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at the different photo modes of Flight Simulator 2020. We'll give you some hints and tips how to take some really nice pictures. Uh, I'm not a professional photographer so keep that in mind. I'm not doing this also for hobby and give my own interpretation on it. So one of the first things you probably want to do when taking a picture is using the active pause. And the active pause can be either found in the top menu and then selecting the option Another way to pause the screen is by pressing the pause key on your keyboard. Uh, that, however, depends on the key mappings which you did in Flight Simulator. By default it's the pause key. Uh, if you're not using the pause key, then it could be a different key. Another thing to keep in mind is that you always remove the mouse cursor. And as you move the mouse cursor, you can see an arrow popping up here. And when you hover over it, it will uh, show the menu. So always make sure that the mouse cursor is out of the screen and that there's no, I would say, arrow displayed on the top of the screen. To make a picture, you can use the built-in Windows key uh, or w Windows screenshot utility. And you can access that by hitting the Windows Shift S key. Uh, that will bring up a new window which allows you to create a picture, either a rectangle or a freeform or whatever you want. Of course, there are also other tools like the uh, game bar utility from uh, from the Xbox or the GeForce utilities which also contain a lot of uh, functionalities to create uh, nice screenshots. So let's uh, move outside the aircraft. Uh, the first view we're going to look at is the uh, drone view which is this one uh, besides of course the internal view. And the nice thing about the drone view is that you can move around the aircraft, um, right? You can move the camera up and down, you can increase or decrease the altitude. Uh, for example, you can, um, you can move to the uh, fire depth a little bit. If it goes too slow, then simply hit the uh, f function key uh, 6, so F6, and that will allow you to move a little bit faster. And in that case, you can, can make a picture like from here. Uh, taking the sun and the uh, reflection of the sun in it that would be uh, would be a nice option to do of course uh, I probably need to zoom out a bit because else you don't see anything from the uh, fire act anymore so let's move back to it uh, the, the other option is to hit the control space and the control space will show you the view from above or, right so currently it shows the view from above um, so what's beneath us. You can always use the uh, zoom in and zoom out options as you can see to also include the aircraft in the view or remove it completely. Uh, keep in mind that this view depends uh, on which uh, character is selected. So for example if I hit 5 and then hit control space again in this case it shows it. Let's hit the 5 again. Uh, let's remove a little bit to the side and then hit it again in some cases what you will see is that it changes the view so keep in mind that that could happen right so if we're hitting control space again in this case it went okay but for some in some scenarios I, I had the issue that it was I would say showing it like this uh, so you might it might require you to play around a little bit with the buttons then there's another option it's that's the uh, the T button from target and using the, the, the target button, it allows you to set an object as a target. By default, it's the aircraft. Uh, other options are uh, other point of interest, which are close to you, and other multiplayers and several other options. But it's not described 100% what other objects uh, are included. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it uh, allows you to uh, use the same function keys. Uh, right? Uh, so you can still use, I uh, would say, use the, the arrow to move down. But what you can see that it keeps a center on the aircraft. So that's nice, right? If you want to go to the next target, then hit the control and the T key. So the left control key and then the T key. If you want to reset it, simply hit the 5 on the keyboard and it will uh, move back to the default drone position. To move to different targets, you can hit the control key and the page up or down. So for example, if I hit page up, this is, is the next target. And then we've got, this is the target. And the nice thing about this is that you can still use the other keys, like the control space key to uh, move to those targets. 
uh, or move around those targets. So let me figure out if there are any more targets here. So here's, for example, there's a runway. Keep in mind that it sometimes requires some time to load, right? Because it could be something which is not loaded in memory yet. Uh, in this case, it looks like something moving. So it's probably another aircraft. Although I don't see the aircraft yet. Here's another one. And another one. Right, so you can see it It has multiple options to switch, other, uh, switch to other airplanes also. If you want to return to your own aircraft, simply hit the 5 key again on your keyboard and it will move it back to the original uh, position. The other view is the external camera view, which is by default from behind the aircraft. Uh, keep in mind that uh, by default the uh, HUD is being displayed. Uh, let me show you what the HUD is. So if I go to the uh, option screen, then go to the camera position, and then I will switch on the HUD, hit apply and save. By default, it will be shown like this. So it will contain the airspeed, the engine speed, the altitude, the vertical speed, etc. But of course, those are not the things which you want to have in your picture. So you need to go to general, and go to camera, and then go to the HUD and then switch it off if you want to take a picture. Once that's done, right, it shows it like this. Most of the aircrafts have one or more custom cameras, which can be accessed by the control key and then the one uh, up till nine key. Uh, in this case, the light uh, weight airplane only has one custom key, uh, which is the control one. And to uh, let's say, go back to the normal mode, simply hit the same key again, and that will move back or hit the uh, five key, which also resets it. If you're creating pictures like this, it sometimes is nice to play around with the weather, uh, with the light a bit. And we can do that, of course, by going to the weather uh, functionalities of Flight Simulator. So, for example, you can uh, change the, uh, the time when you take the picture. So, for example, you can change, make it a little bit darker, so early in the morning. Or you can change it to, uh, let's say, late in the evening. Then we've got the options here, and the options here allow you, to, allow you to do a lot of things. For example, we can uh, change the snow, so here we can make it a little bit snowy. You can change the aerosol density, and the aerosol density has to do with the light from the, which comes from the sun, because you can see that it's, I would say, almost a 100% a more light bulb compared to what it normally is, so you can play around by using those settings. Uh, participation that has to do with the rain how much rain there falls and the lightning of course how much lightning there is on the top of the screen there are the multiple weather scenarios in this case I select clear skies but there is also an option of course to select uh, the uh, few clouds scarlet clouds broken clouds or even High level clouds. And the high level clouds are really, I think you can't see them even here because they're really high in the sky. Besides that, we've got the overcast. And the overcast a little bit uh, rain, I think. And we've got the real rain. Uh, the real rain shows like this, so it, show, it gives you a different view. And you can see that if you change the, I would say, predefined weather scenarios, it will modify the options here. So, for example, in this case, it has said the uh, participation to max and has set the uh, aerosol density to six right and then of course we've got snow which we can also define in this case you see that it snows uh, participation is uh, 15 but you can can reduce it right uh, if you want it will let's say snow a little bit slower compared to to heavy snow like this uh, lightning, of course, you can use it in a picture, but it's pretty hard because you don't know where the lightning will occur. Uh, so maybe not a good option to use for flight, although you can create a video and then pause it while it's uh, it's lightning, right? You can, for example, show this, but in some case you want to see the, uh, I would say, the, uh, the, the line of the, uh, I'm not sure, on, on line of the thunderstorm. I'm not sure what the English word is, to be honest. 
Um, and of course, we can, we can move the, the camera position again, right? So we can. Oh, there it was. So you can, you can see the lightning strike, uh, and you can take a picture of the of that. Although you must be very luck lucky to do that, right? Then also, of course, the storm option, and storm option is really like this. Uh, but in most cases, it's not a suitable option because, as you can see, the object, uh, which was the viaduct, almost disappears. So let's move back again to, uh, to clear skies uh, because that's the uh, most nice view uh, if you want to take pictures. Um, let me. So other options are, for example, to, to move to the, the time which I just discussed and then play around with the aerosol density. Uh, for example, like this. You can move to, for example, really early in the mornings. Let me show like this and you will see the reflection of the sun. So you can see there are a lot of options which you can use to manipulate the picture uh, within the flight simulator itself. And there are also multiple modes which you can use to take a picture. Uh, you see a lot of pictures about, I would say, uh, approaches and landings on, on, on uh, runways on, on airports. So those are cool scenarios, but also the other options are, I would say, high in the sky pictures and also pictures where point of interest are being shown. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then please use the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.